If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And if you're returning, welcome back, y'all. And in today's video, we will be making some treats for my little niece's birthday party. So first, I'm gonna start off with the um, chocolate covered pretzels. I have these pretzels. Um, I wanted to do the stick ones, but then um, when I thought about it, when I ever like whenever I eat the uh, the stick pretzels, I kind of don't like how the chocolate just fall apart or whatever, whatever. Anyways, so I decided I'm gonna do the little small ones. And this is the chocolate I have. And so I'm gonna make um, some white chocolate covered pretzels and I'm gonna make some pink chocolate covered pretzels. So first I'm just gonna start off with opening up my chocolate and then pour it in here. Okay, and then a cap of oil. Okay, and then I saw the ladies do a cap of oil. I like that, like that, like that. And then I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave until I get a good consistency that I like. Okay, y'all, here's my chocolate. It's a little too warm, so I'm gonna let it cool off just a little bit. Just keep stirring. Yeah, so I'm gonna let that cool off. All right, and so while that chocolate's cooling off a little bit more, I'm also going to be making some chocolate covered Rice Krispies. Um, Rice Krispie treats, and so I'm gonna do white and pink of those as well. Um, so my niece's birthday party is Minnie Mouse theme, so that's why I'm doing a lot of things pink and white. I'm also gonna be making some pink um, candied apples, so you guys will get to see that. So, yeah. Hi. And I got my pink blue color. And I tried to find pink chocolate. <laughs> Cause I seen a lady had like some blue ones. Um, but I tried to find the pink chocolate or whatever and I couldn't find it. So I was like, you know what? I got pink blue color. So hey, it's gonna work. It is going to work. Okay. That is cooled off enough for me, I guess. I don't have a freaking thermometer to um, be like, beep, the temperature or whatever. So this is just gonna have to do for now. Okay, y'all. So I got my tongues here. I'm just gonna take, I don't know if I should do like, try to get a little bit, which I don't even think it matters. All right, let's see how well this is gonna work, y'all. Like I want, I want mostly all of the pretzel to be covered though. I don't know why it's covered more. Am I supposed to let it drain more? Okay, let me take a lot of pretzels off. See, yeah, I can see what I'm doing here. I got all the pretzels right here. I'm just gonna grab one. And then let it drain. This is um this is my first time doing this show. So if I ain't doing it right, it's gonna be alright. <laughs> I just want all the chocolate. Like I just want all the pretzel to have chocolate. So there we go. That'll work. That's probably an easier way to do this. But you know what? 
It's working just fine for me. So this is what I'm doing. I'm dipping it in there. Make sure it's all covered. And then let it dry. And then like that. So I'm gonna dip the other one that I dipped first because I didn't get all of it on there, you know. Okay. So as y'all can see, what I'm doing here, this is probably gonna take a while because I have to do a lot. So I'm just gonna do this, and then when I get done with the pink ones, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, y'all. This is what the white covered um chocolate pretzels look like with a splash of pink and then the next batch is gonna be pink with a splash of white so yeah like i said y'all this is my first time doing this so maybe my next time doing it it'll be better but i'm just like you know what i'm gonna do what i can do for right now because i don't know what i'm doing but yeah so there we have it okay yeah. <clears throat> So now I'm about to do the pink ones. Okay, so before I put my pink food color in here to turn this pink, I'm going to put this in this bag. I picked up the um, icing bags. I don't know what they're called, but you know, to make the little ones, whatever. I picked up those, but I but then I put them back because I was like, I don't need those. But I did, but I already put them back at the store, so I wasn't about to go to the store and grab that. So I have a bunch of these bags, and this is just the bags that I'm actually putting the pretzels in. So... I'm just gonna grab one of these and then I'm just gonna cut the little corner and that's how I'm making the um, lines like that. So guess what, you gotta use what you got. So that's what I'm gonna do, but you guys already seen how I dipped the other ones. I'm just gonna do the exact same process. So you guys don't need to see that again. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm done with all that. Okay, y'all. Next is the Rice Krispie treats. So I did do one right there just to see how it would come out because I wasn't sure how I wanted to do them. But since I have done that one, I'm just gonna open up a few. Let's put the sticks in them. Do it that way. Like maybe six of these. So let's try right there. And do one more. And the reason why I'm not doing like so many of everything is because like you know there's gonna be other things there. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to do too much of one thing and then like have a lot left over of that one thing. So I'm gonna do six of these for right now and then see how much of icing I have left. I did split that one bag of ice, I mean one bag of chocolate left. So I split it in half because I want to take some white chocolate and drizzle on top of these. So they're gonna be pink with some white drizzle on top. And we're gonna go from there. So yeah, all I'm doing with these is putting it in the um, chocolate, taking my little spatula and covering them up with the spatula. I should probably use a spoon, but to be honest, I'm trying to stretch the chocolate as much as possible. Because <laughs> I do not like going to the store. So therefore, I'm trying to avoid going to the store to get anything else. Especially today. Because it's crazy in the store today. Too many people was in the store. I went there this morning, and it was too many people in there for me. So I was like, let me get on up out of here. Grab what I got to get and go. So, but good thing I did get another bag of chocolate. I originally had only two bags. And then while I was in the store today, I said, let me just grab another bag just in case. So, 
good thing I did because I used all three bags so yeah so for right now just gonna do this so okay so you guys see what i'm doing here <laughs> i'll be back when i'm done with this part okay y'all so i have the rice krispie treats right here drying and once they're done i'm going to change the sticks on those to these sticks the pretty sticks so while uh, those are drying i'm going to i seen on one video a girl had the pre-made bows already after i had already went to the store and bought this I was like, that was so smart. So now I gotta try to make a bow for real, for real. Cause if y'all watched my previous video of me trying to make a bow to tie around the egg for the Easter egg for my kids, it didn't go too well. So now I'm gonna have to try to make a bow for these. I'm gonna try it though. I'm really gonna try this time. So I got dark pink, light pink ribbon or strings or whatever you wanna call this. And I'm really gonna try. <laughs> Try my little hardest. Okay, put this right here. And y'all, I'm I'm not gonna show y'all everything just because I'm trying to multitask. So while um these were drying, well no, while the pretzels was drying, I um washed my apples to get them prepped for um my candy apples so they're on the counter over there drying on a napkin so yeah hi bookie butt i think my baby is trying to get sick so hold on so let me twist this first sorry somebody was knocking on them and then i have nails on so having nails on don't make it no better me trying to make up a what you say, stink of a... Ooh, I probably should have cut that. Girl, I gotta cut that longer. Hold on. But well, I'm trying to be stingy with the string. I hear my baby crying because he's just waking up and I think he's getting sick. So, yeah. But I'm trying to make this bowl for y'all before I, before I grab him. Okay? Okay, longer string because that was not going to happen. And if I need to cut it, I can do that. But I'd rather have enough string than not enough string. So then, how do you like that? What the matter, Bookie Bud? I know. Want ice cream? You probably need some ice cream, now. <laughs> I want to make it shorter. Let's see if I can make it a little shorter, but tighter. I'm gonna cut it. Oh um, yeah, but the other bow looked way better. The pre-made bow looked way better. So maybe next time when I do something like this, I'll just get the pre-made bows. But for right now, I think this is gonna have to do. Which kids ain't gonna care about no bow. Them kids is gonna try to get to the pretzels. They gonna be like, Ooh, who care about a bow? So yeah. So I'm gonna ribbon all these up. Yeah. And I'll be back. I need to tend to my baby as well. Okay, y'all. So the Rice Krispie treats are done. This is what they're looking like. I'm going to put them all in a bag and then tie bowls around it. So this is how my bowls came out for these. I mean, it's not too bad. They're actually pretty cute. So. I'm not too mad about those, but I wish I would have got the pre made bows. But it's all good. Um, so, yeah, so I'm gonna put the Rice Krispie Treats in here. And then I did do like two whites with pinks on top. So, got those. So, yeah. Just don't think there's gonna be a lot of kids. Might be a lot of kids. I don't know. I mean, I know I have five. My five are gonna be there. So. I know that, um, but I don't know how many other kids are going to be there. But, I mean, I don't expect every kid to get one of each. You know what I'm saying? I expect, like, 
say if one kid get pretzels and a Rice Krispie Treat. And then one other kid get apple and pretzels or something like that. I just don't expect all the kids to get all three treats. Because, I mean, there are going to be other treats there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <clears throat> so, the pretzels are done. Rice Krispie Treats are done. All I have left is my apples. And I did try to do apples the other day. Just like... Um, because I haven't did apples in a while. So I tried to do apples the other day just to see how they turned out. They turned out really bad. Oh my goodness. It was so bad. But I didn't measure my sugar, didn't measure my water. I just poured everything in a pot and was like, okay, I'll let it boil and then do it, do whatever. I didn't really measure. So um this time I am gonna do measurements to make sure it come out good. So hopefully, fingers are crossed, I do not have to go buy more apples. I do not want to have to do this again. So I would definitely measure and, you know, take my time with it, do what I got to do. So I'm going to tie bows around these and then start my apples because they've been sitting on the counter drying for a minute now. So, yeah. This is fun. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm like, oh, I should probably start making little treats, little sweet treats. But I won't. I'm just saying. So I'll be back. Yo. I see why I don't do this type of stuff for a living because, man, this stuff is a lot of work. But anyways, <laughs> imagine me trying to do, like, a whole bunch of these things. I would be, like, all day. Anyway, so this is what the Rice Krispie Treat looks like. It is the cutest. Like, I think I really did my thing with these a little bit because it's cute. And then the sticks are really cute. They're not just plain sticks. So, I like that. Oh, yeah. So, I'm done with the Rice Krispie Treats. I'm done with the pretzels. And now I got to get to these apples. And I really want y'all to watch me what I do with these apples. But let me tell y'all right now. If it don't go well, that clip won't be inserted in this video. And I'll just show y'all the ending. <laughs> but I'm going to try to record me doing the process of these candy apples. It's just sometimes these candy apples get a little tricky. And then I have copper tunnels. So, like, holding the stick and twirling the apple. Sometimes my fingers lock up and my hand hurt. So, yeah. But we're going to try to make this do what it do. Let's get these candy apples started. Okay, so they're going to run. Yeah. Get off the stroller. Okay, y'all, so right now I'm just wiping off the apples. Cleaning them off a little bit. And then... I took away my pot. Keep, keep my pot out of your mouth. <laughs> Alright. So now I'm going to start my little candy mixture candy mixture and then i'm gonna put the sticks in the apples while this starts to boil so i have my candy thermometer here i have that and i have my measuring cup like that hopefully i got enough sugar y'all i'm trying to find sugar though hold on i'll be back yeah found the sugar <laughs> okay so my recipe says four cups of sugar, one cup of water, one cup of black corn syrup, and um, after my thing reached 280, then I would add the flavoring and all that crap. But um, I'm trying to decide, do I want strawberry flavored apples or do I want watermelon? No, so don't. Any mini money mo, catch a spider by so if you have them, go any mini money mo. Wait, any mini money mo. Any mini my name. Okay, it was this one the first time. So I'm gonna do watermelon flavor. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do watermelon flavoring. And then I got my pink. And then I got my pink food coloring here. And then I got my white food coloring as well. So let's get started on making these candy apples, 
y'all. I'm excited. All right, let's do this thing. So four cups of sugar. This is two cups, I mean, four cups of sugar. All right. Okay, four cups of sugar, and then one cup of water. I was like, that's not gonna be enough for water, girl. And then, one cup of light corn syrup. So let's see what I get. truly getting dedicated to this YouTube thing let me tell you why I went and bought this little phone stand thing that my phone is on I'm gonna show you in a few minutes hold on so I got my phone this little phone stand thing and I went and bought another ring light a little mini one so I can have better quality videos for y'all so I hope y'all appreciate me because you know I'm doing this for y'all and y'all I'm so scared this might not be enough water but the lady says stir until it's not hard to stir anymore. But it's still hard to stir right now. So I'm making a YouTube video, Mama. I'm about to make ah, I'm about to make candy apples, girl. You want a regular apple? They're right there on the counter, and I'll wash it for you. Hold on. Anyways, y'all, I'm stirring this until it's easier to stir. I guess so. I'm just gonna keep on stirring. I guess this is crazy. I don't think that was enough water. I'm scared, y'all. It's gonna be too sweet. But yeah. I hope these come out better than the last ones too. <laughs> the last ones was horrible. I should have showed y'all those, but they were horrible. They wasn't ready at all. Okay, hold on. I think it's trying to get together. Y'all just got my hair done. I'm trying to. That wind outside is ruthless. It's rude. Messed up my ball. That wind trying to blow my ball away. I think. I think this is good. Hopefully this pot. Because it's not like a. For one I got to get new pots. Or whatever. I just haven't had time to find some good quality pots. So. Hopefully this pot don't stick too bad. But. Yeah. We're going to try to make it work. But um. Yeah, I think that's good, y'all. So, she said, she said, all right, um, medium, Mommy. high heat, Mommy. got my can thermometer here. Jada, you gonna give me a second? Don't you see me doing something? And then, the one lady said, then don't put it. 
Hold on, y'all. All right, let's flip it out a little bit. She said, don't put it all the way at the bottom or you're going to get false reading on your thermometer. So right now, I'm putting it in. I don't know if it's in there. I think it, I just don't want it to be like all the way in there. But my thing is tripping. All right. Actually, I think I should put it over here because I be trying to see it and I don't be seeing nothing. Y'all, this this whole one cup of water thing scared me because it looked like there's not enough water in there. But okay, I can see the thermometer. All right, so while that's about to start boiling and things like that, about to start making it do what it do, put it right there. I am going to start putting my pretty, my pretty stick into the apples yeah that's my apple okay so that's what i'm about to start doing sticking the apples and i'll be back y'all when we make progress because we're not about to stay here for like ever doing nothing i'll be back okay y'all i'm putting my flavoring in that flavoring is strong i think i'm supposed to stir it and it's almost to 300 degrees so once it hit 300, I'm gonna take it off the stove. Oh, not me trying to sing. But once it hit 300, y'all, I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna take it. Okay, y'all. that into water all right so now I am going to add my white oh, wait this I don't know why I keep doing that where did I go okay I'm scared y'all I want it to be really white so my pink can be really nice so, I have my white. Okay. Because I put that color, I mean that flavoring in, it kind of turned it like a little brown or whatever. But I want it to be really white so my pink can look really cute. Well, actually, I'm going to do white and pink, so I'm going to um, make this one. I'm going to do the white ones first, and then I'm going to do some pink ones. I don't want to do them all the same color, you know? All right. Okay, y'all see it's white, really white, so... Okay, y'all pray for me because I'm scared. Okay, I want y'all to see me do this. So the girl said, lean it over to the side and then dip your apples. Yeah, my apple licking. I don't want it to trip everywhere. Yeah.
pretty. Done five white and five pink. So ten apples all together. Okay, you guys, these are the candy apples. Yeah, when I put the pink in, it started to get hardened, I guess. It was getting thicker. So it was kind of hard for me to hold the stick and twist it. My hand was starting to hurt real bad. So I couldn't really get the top part of the apples all the way like I did the white ones. But it's okay. It still looked pretty. And I love the results. Hopefully they taste as good as they look. But y'all, these are the candy apples. And once I um once I bag those and tie ribbons on them, I'll show you guys the final results. Right now I'm just trying to clean out the pot. So I put some water in there to kind of get it from sticking at the bottom of the pot like it was. So ooh. To be honest, y'all, I don't know if that's what you were supposed to do, but that's what I did. Because it was sticking real real bad. Ah. So, I'm just going to clean the pot. So, I'm going to clean the pot, let the candy apples sit before I bag them and put ribbons on those. So, yeah, I'll be back. Continue to watch. Hey, y'all. I'm back. <laughs> I had to do the regular bags because the one that I thought was for apples, what are these bags for? What is, somebody tell me what this bag for. Cause I thought it was for the apples. But apparently it won't fit. So I have to go with this one. But those bags were kind of cuter. So I was like, I want to go with the cute bags. But now I got to go with these bags. The plain, simple, dimple bags. So I found bags. Well, I didn't find bags. The thing I bought these. So I'm going to put the apples in here and put some bowls on these. Well, that one's still kind of wet. Good. I don't know why. All the rest of them have hardened up. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these sticks are really flimsy and very bendable. So, next time, I think I am going to um, use the other sticks and decorate those sticks like even though i think they're so i might just order some off amazon they come like with little jewels on them or whatever or diamonds whatever you want to call it on those i might order some of those for next time you know but for right now like i said this is trial and error i made candy apples before i just never made them for something so this is my first time making them and other people will actually eat them so, yeah. so I'm excited about that. Good morning, mommy. Sure, it is not morning. Did you find out something? Yeah, cereal. No. Hi. Girl, ain't no hi. So yeah, after this, I have to get ready for this party tomorrow. So I have to get the kids' hair combed, well, hair washed and combed, and all that. This is gonna be a fun night, so I'm gonna be doing that. Can you not touch the stove? The stove is hot. Can you move? So I am so glad I got all these things out of the way first, cause guess what? I'm gonna be doing hair all night. All right, y'all. This is my last apple. I don't know why this one is not drying. Hopefully it dries before tomorrow. But, alright. That's apple. I'm about to tie them up with some bows and I'll come back. Okay, you guys. These are, the, these are the final results of the candy apples. I love how they turned out. And they look so cute. So, yeah. I might be getting into the sweet treat business. You never know. Candy apples, Rice Krispie treats. I didn't make this. I bought this. 
But I make it learn how to make little candy crystals. Mm. In my prints. So yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always come back for more. Bye. Bye. Poetic justice. Poetic justice.